Handbrake has a level of capability that makes it one of the go-to utilities for both video professionals and home users. Even if you've already used Handbrake in the past, the chances are that you've only touched the surface in terms of its capability. With that, let's do a rundown of the top 10 features Handbrake provides that can help you either as a video professional or a home user. It's also worth noting these features can be applied at either an individual file level or across a group of files as a batch operation. So let's get into it. Handbrake can read almost any video format that's out there and convert to either MP4 or MKV formats. It's a really useful tool for converting from older formats to the most current formats in use today, thereby enabling those old files to be rendered on modern devices. This is probably the most used feature in Handbrake. Handbrake can read an entire DVD disc volume and convert it into a series of MP4 or MKV files that you can play back on your favorite media device. It's great for backing up old DVDs that you may have lying around. Handbrake won't read encrypted DVD volumes, however, so you'll need an alternative tool to do that and then use Handbrake to convert the decrypted volume into the individual files. As well as transcoding the video content in your media files, Handbrake can also adjust the audio encoding as well. This can be particularly useful if you have a media file that uses an audio format that isn't compatible with your preferred playback device or editing software. Handbrake has a wealth of options to help you output the audio format you need. When transcoding a file in Handbrake, you can choose to either upscale or downscale the content to a different resolution. For example, you may have some 4K or 5K drone footage that you want to play back on an older 1080p TV. With Handbrake, you can specify 1080p as your output resolution and render a file that is now compatible. Even with its default settings, the file Handbrake creates for you will likely be smaller than the original. But you can go much further through a combination of downsizing the video resolution and reducing the quality of the output file. Reductions of two to four times can normally be achieved without any noticeable degradation in video quality. Savings of eight to 10 times are possible if you're willing to make some trade-offs on the quality side. As part of transcoding a file into one of its supported output formats, Handbrake can also crop the output to the exact segment of the input you are interested in. So for example, if you have a one hour recording and you want to share a two minute segment of the file, Handbrake will allow you to set the start frame and the end frame within your one hour recording and then crop down the output automatically, resulting in a two minute file that you can then share. Handbrake allows you to add subtitles to your videos. The subtitles can be burned into the video or configured as soft subtitles that can be turned on or off. Multi-language subtitles are supported with the MKV output format. Handbrake allows an array of filtering options when transcoding a video. You will unlikely use these when transcoding from a clean digital master, but where you're dealing with footage that came from a videotape, for example, or film, these filter options are there to help you optimize the output image quality as much as possible. With the cropping option, you can crop in top and bottom to create a widescreen effect. In other cases, you may want an entire border around the image, so Handbrake allows you to configure the X and Y crops, as well as the color of the border. Where content was recorded either upside down or at a 90 degree angle, Handbrake will allow you the ability to adjust the output file appropriately. I hope this video has given you an appreciation of what Handbrake can do. For further details on each feature, I have included a link to the Handbrake documentation in the description. So which Handbrake features do you use most? And are there any features you wish Handbrake could provide? Please let us know your views in the comments. I have included links in the description to a number of supporting videos that show you how to download and install Handbrake as well as making the best use of the main features. Thanks for watching today. Please hit a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of more videos like this. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.